Our mission at Precision Hawk is to provide tools for growers, for crop consultants, for insurers, and enterprise professionals in agriculture uh, to make better decisions and more, more timely decisions in the field. They've got a lot of challenges they have to face and you know, profitability is becoming more difficult in this industry. And so the decisions that they're making have to be extremely timely. They have to be the right decisions. They have to know how to react and intervene in their crops. So when we think about how to design products and design offerings, you know, we're always keeping that in the back of our mind. You know, how would a grower actually use this technology and make decisions uh, based off the information we're able to provide those customers? I tell our customers that we're never going to replace ground truthing. We're never going to replace, and our, our job isn't to replace someone going out and physically taking a point sample in the field. What we are able to do is help better inform the decisions between those points. So. Farmers are collecting more information when they make a single pass through a field today than what they did in lifetimes previously. The challenging part has been how do I take this information and, and actually do something with it. There's multiple phases of the data process. There's the, there's the collection phase, there's the processing phase, and then most importantly, there's what do we do with that information? How do we take action from it? We will never be any better than the raw information that we collect going in. So if we can start from a solid foundation, that gives us a lot better opportunity for success in whatever the final product is that we're delivering to our clients. When we're working with clients to plan a mission, we're gonna ask them very specific questions about where's the area that we're flying? What type of crops are there? What stages of development do you want to have this information collected at? And from there, we will develop a very specific flight plan. Literally in the swipe of a button, they can take off with the drone and capture the data. So the actual flight part is pretty easy. Where the challenging part is, how do I know what parameters to set in the software? And that's where our experts on staff, both from agronomic backgrounds, but also from the flight background, can help our clients to make sure that not only that they're flying the right equipment, that they're, but they're using the right settings for the given time of the season and the given application that they're working towards to be able to get the kind of data that we're gonna need on the back end. Precision Analytics Agriculture Tool it was a cloud-based platform that really ingests data from a multitude of different sensors. And there's a bevy of analytics that can be applied against those. It's a place for not only processing data, but also for storing, managing, and making decisions upon that information. So usually the starting point is generally gonna be raw imagery from a drone. So the user will take that information, load it into Precision Analytics Agriculture, and in a matter of minutes, the software will automatically process it and turn it into an ortho mosaic, into a 3D elevation model that are really the, the base layer for the subsequent products that we generate from there. If I've flown with a multi-spectral camera and I want to run an NDVI report to see just how healthy my crop is, how much variation there is going on in that crop, once the ortho mosaic is processed, I can generate that literally with a single click of a button in a matter of seconds. I have a map, it's there in the interface, it's all spatial in nature. And not only do I have that for one instance in time, uh, with Precision Analytics Agriculture, we've also aggregated that information together. So if I'm flying the same field multiple times over the season, I now have those images from different dates being in this space for many years, uh, we have the privilege of having data that's been collected over a ton of different agriculture use cases. So we've taken the imagery that has been captured over these various types of crops and using machine learning, we have developed base models that are really good at essentially at object detection. Effectively, the user doesn't have to give us any inputs other than the area that they want to run this algorithm over. And using our machine learning models, we can uh, quickly and, and very precisely detect where plants are, how many they are, and in certain cases, even how big they are. We can take the vegetative indice that we have run over the entire grove. We can take the plant counts, which includes boundaries for each individual tree or each individual plant in that area, and we can combine the two together. While that's powerful is now, not only do I have a count of how many trees are there, but I can actually get a health assessment of how healthy is each tree that's in that crop. A lot of times we're making decisions around you know, specific plants or rows and being very surgical around you know, how do we actually address problems that are in those parts of the field. Being able to intuitively and easily draw field boundaries and zones in the field, being able to run analytics on those specific zones and easily convert that into reports and, and outputs, you know, that's something that we really focused on. 
A lot of decisions that uh, agriculture professionals make are subjective, and so whether that's how much application do I apply to a field, which fields do I need to apply product to you know, today versus tomorrow, what we help do is create really an accurate, measurable view of those fields and to be able to make decisions that are based on you know, something that's quantifiable versus something that's very subjective. I think with Precision Analytics Agriculture, we, we're starting to bridge that gap of being able to take spatial and temporal information and turn it into something that, that can be beneficially acted upon. Not just something that we collected for historical information, but something that we can actually transform our operations going forward to be more efficient, to be more productive, and to make sure that we're investing in the areas where, that merit investment, but also you know, potentially cutting our losses in the areas that we know we're not gonna get as much gain from. There's so much information that can be gleaned from the ground, but there is a whole new perspective that can be gleaned from our sensors in the sky.